Have you purchased a new monitor and it has 144 hertz or maybe 75 hertz and you're not sure how to set the refresh rate in Windows 11? Well, today we're going to show you how to set the monitor refresh rate in the Windows 11 settings. It's really quite simple to do. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Ken. This is Northern Viking Every Day and we bring you videos on reviews and how to's. So make sure you click that subscribe button and the bell notification so you're notified of any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and dive right into showing you how to set the refresh rate on your monitor in Windows 11. All right, so here we are on my Windows 11 desktop and I do wanna show you something quickly before we move into the Windows 11 settings. I happen to be running an NVIDIA GPU here and in the NVIDIA control panel, you can see that my monitors are set to 60 Hertz in the NVIDIA control panel. Now I'll come back to this later. I did want to show you that because when you make the changes in Windows 11, it automatically updates in the NVIDIA control panel if you're using that. So let's go ahead and find our display settings here in Windows 11. In order to do that, just find an open area on your desktop and right click with your mouse, not left click, but right click. And a little menu is gonna pop up that looks something like this. And we're looking for the display setting option right here in the middle. You can go ahead and left click on that. That's gonna open up the display settings here in Windows 11. So you'll see little images of your monitors here at the top. They'll be highlighted in blue when you click on them. And you do need to change each monitor's refresh rate individually if you are running two monitors or more. If you're only running one monitor, you're only gonna see one monitor here. And if you're not sure which monitor is which, you can go ahead and click on identify here. And a little number is gonna pop up in the corner of your monitor so you can tell which monitor is which. So I'm gonna start out with monitor two. That happens to be the one here in front of me. From there, we're gonna scroll down to the bottom and under related settings down here at the bottom, it says advanced display, display information and refresh rate. So let's go ahead and left click on this with our mouse and it's gonna load up the advanced display settings for us. Now you can actually select which monitor you'd like to change in here as well in the top right hand corner. You can see I have number two selected. If I did wanna switch to number one, I could do that here as well. Now from there we can come down and you see it says choose a refresh rate here and it's currently set to 60 Hertz. We're gonna click on this and all the different options that are available for your monitor will show up. Now I know the monitor I have here is a 75 Hertz monitor and you might have a 144 Hertz monitor, you can just go ahead and select the one that applies to your monitor. I'm gonna select 74.97 Hertz, Hertz, which is the 75. We're gonna select that. It's gonna refresh for us, and it says keep these display settings. I'm gonna just go ahead and click on keep these display settings, and now it's gonna be 75 Hertz. Now, if you're running two monitors like I am, you'll have to do the other one as well. I'm gonna switch over to number one. And again, you can see that's at 60 Hertz. We're gonna switch that to 75 Hertz again. Again, it says keep these display settings. I'm gonna hit keep changes. And now these are set to 75 Hertz. Let's jump back over to the NVIDIA control panel and you can see it automatically updated to 75 Hertz here on my first monitor and my second one here as well. So you can see that when you make the changes in Windows 11, they automatically switch over here in the NVIDIA control panel. And really it's that simple to change your refresh rate on your monitors here in Windows 11. So I hope this tutorial was able to help you change your monitor refresh rate here in Windows 11. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You will find all those links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.